What is going on people? Welcome to your 52nd Java tutorial. And this tutorial is probably going to be pretty long. It's probably going to be a multi-part uh, tutorial. And we're going to be talking about event handlers. So what an event handler or event handling is, is in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to build a simple uh, GUI or GUI. Well what an event is, is anything that the user can do like move their mouse, click a button, press enter, those are called events in computer language. Now what an event handler is, is the code that responds to your mouse movement or button clicking. So the event would be click a button, the event handler would be the code that says okay when you click this I want another box to pop up that says you just click the button or something like that. So the event is what the user does, the event handler is what the programmer makes when they do that event. And this overall process is called event handling. So um, I'll be talking about this later on, but you guys need to know um, pretty much. I just want to tell you, in this program or tutorial, we're going to be building um, a window on the screen. And we're going to be building some text boxes inside that window. And whenever the user enters text and press enter, um, the event handler is going to say, all right, I'm going to pop up another box. So let's just go ahead and get started. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you'll figure it out eventually. Okay, I need a little break now. The first thing we need to do is import a bunch of crap that we're going to use in this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and type import java dot awt dot flow layout. And make sure your A is not capitalized. And go ahead and you can just copy this right here because we're going to be using something similar to it. So we imported Java AWT flow layout. The next thing we want to import is Java dot AWT dot event dot action listener. Let me make sure I spelled listener right. Yep. And what this does is flow layout pretty much gives you layout. The listener listens or pretty much waits for the user to do something like press enter or something. So now, the last thing we need to port, import from the AWT is event. Come on, cursor. Seriously. AWT.event.action event. And these are events, which I told you about last time. Now we need to import four things from the swing. So let's go ahead and import Java X. Make sure you have the X swing dot j frame and now we can go ahead and well might as well copy that because we're going to import in three other things copy paste 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 we need to import j frame j text field and make sure that you got your capitalization same as mine with the t and the f capitalized j frame j text field j password field and text field is somewhere where you can type text. Pas password is the same thing, but instead of showing the text, it covers it up in asterisks so you can't see. And the last thing is option pane. So now we imported everything that we need for this tutorial. And these pretty much are all the built-in methods and variables that we're going to use. So now what we need to do for our tuna class is just like before, we need to extend um, or inherit all the stuff from J frame and what this pretty much does is give us all it pretty much lets us use a window so now we created a window like any other program now we can start putting stuff in it so we're gonna put three items plus a password field in it or pretty much four text fields so let's go ahead and make variables for those um, let's make our item our first text field first so um, private J text field and you need to put j text field and you can name anything you want I'm just gonna name my item one and I'm gonna make three of these so I'm just gonna copy this because I am extremely lazy um, item two and item three in the last sorry about that I had to take a little break help my roommate find his phone but alright so we created three text fields right here now let's go ahead and create our last password field and we'll set that to private as well because I mean why not J password field 
like that and let's just uh, give this variable oops password field looks good so now I did something oh no semicolon embarrassing so we created three items plus a password field now let's go ahead and create our window so let's go ahead and create a constructor for this and since my class is named tuna I'm gonna have to create a method that's named tuna so I'm just going ahead and gonna type public tuna doesn't take any arguments and whatever I create in this is pretty much the window so the first thing I need to do or first thing I actually want to do is add a title to this and if you remember from the last tutorial to do this you just put super and then in your um, argument you put the title or whatever you want for the title not gonna get anything fancy because I'm not creative at all so now we're gonna have to set the layout for this which is pretty much how things are placed and we don't want to have to code a new layout and place everything so we're just gonna grab a one by default and how you do this put set layout and if you're wondering where all these methods are coming from they're imported somewhere up here all these built-in methods that I'm using you just can't make set layout and put it in everything you actually have to import it so set layout takes one argument and the argument for this is new flow layout just like that and that is a uh, method in itself so make sure you have that type just like that so now we have a title and a layout to our window so let's go ahead and start adding those um, text fields right there so the first thing we're gonna add is the item one and we're gonna set this equal to new j text field and in the uh, parameters for this set the length of it as 10 and now we have an item but we didn't add it to the window yet so let's go ahead and add item one and this will add the item to our window so now although you can't see it, you pretty much have a blank window with just a little text field on the screen now we're going to go ahead and do that for the rest of our items so let's go ahead and put item two and set this one equal to and these are going to be a little bit different just change things up a little bit um, new j text field but is your parameters go ahead for this one and put like enter text here now what this is going to do is give you default text inside and it pretty much is like a prompt now let's go ahead and add this one to the screen item two so now we have a pretty much an empty window with two things on our screen two text fields so now let's go ahead and change our item three variable to yeah you guessed it new j text field and for this one we'll go ahead and type all right, let me think of something to do. There we go. Let's go ahead and type, we'll make this text uneditable and we'll give it a default value of 20. And now we have um, a text field that says uneditable in it. And we wanna make sure that the user cannot edit this. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is take that item three, which is that text field, and how you set the editableness is go set editable and what you're gonna do for this is put false and if you put false in that that text field is not going to be editable so the user is going to be able to change what's on the screen I mean uh, read what's on the screen but they aren't going to be able to edit it and now what we want to do is just I'd add item number three to that and the last thing we're gonna make is our password field so just go ahead and write password field and we're gonna set this equal to new J let me get it password field make sure I typed everything right and as a default you can give um get out of there um, my pass or something and this is going to show up in asterisk on your screen so now that we have that we can just go ahead and add um the password field or oh, don't want that so now we have a screen with four things on it we have four different text boxes and each one of them is a little different I just want to show you guys that um, changing the parameters does a little thing different to it and uh, you'll see this later on visually but in the next tutorial we're actually going to be adding an event and handlers to this that means when you enter text and press enter do this or do that but for now I just wanted to get our window set up and in the next tutorial we're going to start programming this baby so I cannot wait. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.